Well, we said we're going to have some music for you this morning, and we do have some musical students with us this morning. They're pretty small, but they're really pretty talented. And they come from, uh, I think you call it the Suzuki School of Music, is that right? And this is Marty Woodward, and I'm just going to move around Jennifer here to talk to Marty for just a moment because I want to find out, did I pronounce that correctly? That's right. We're really called the Talent Education School of Music, but it's more commonly known as the Suzuki School. We've heard a lot about that. What, what, is this, what, it, what kind of a system is that? Is it a special system? It's a special system, yes. Dr. Suzuki um, in, created the mother tongue method about 30 years ago mm -hmm. and that's where these students learn to play a musical instrument the way they learn to speak mm -hmm. they learn by ear and they become very comfortable at their instrument uh, define that for me you learn by ear when you listen to a piece of music and you sit down and, <laughs> and pick it out or or play a violin or whatever without really knowing what you're doing or? no that's not really like that they listen daily to a recording I see. of the music that they play and then they have a lesson with me once a week and the parent is very involved. The parent is the home teacher and teaches six days a week. Do routinely. they learn to read notes and things like that too? Yes. Yes, they do. When they're real comfortable with their instrument, it varies with each child. Mm -hmm. Do they learn to read notes first, or how, how, do, you, how do you get them started? In this? I, I think the biggest chore for kids, you know, or for youngsters, let me put it that way, that are studying music is to get down, you know, and worry about the mechanics of it. Do mm -hmm. you try to bypass that a little bit and work it in a little easier or something like that? Well, th they start with posture, you mm -hmm. know, it starts with the basics, and then at the keyboard they learn the alphabet from the lower to the higher notes, and higher and lower, and soft and loud, and then middle C is their starting point on the piano. Mm -hmm. And on the violin, they learn um, to play a, a rhythm, it's a t variation of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, mm -hmm. and they do that with games, and then they apply it to their instrument. How often do they have studies? How many hours a week? Do you work with that varies. I work with them 20 minutes a week, and then every other week we have group lessons when they get together with their groups. But the parent is really mostly responsible now for that. Tell me education. about the parent. How is he involved? Or okay. he or she? Okay, it is he or she. There are fathers mm -hmm. and there are mothers that are with the students. Well, they make music routinely a part of their lives, and each day, Dr. Suzuki says you only have to practice on the days that you eat. So, on the days that you what? On the days that you eat. I mean, that would be, yeah. <laughs> Unless you have to be on the Air Force diet or something like that, that means that you're practicing every day, right? Right, they're practicing every day. And it's just a short time. It's, it's um, kept as short or long as to keep it positive. Mm -hmm. So the child ends with a good feeling at their instrument. What do you tell a parent when they come in? I mean, just a cold about the system. You know, you have a child that's kind of interested in music and you want to, want to develop that. What do you tell them? Uh, I tell them they have a responsibility along with this that... In, in, in addition to you. In other words, they have to do something at home. Right. As I teach them in their weekly lesson, the parent sits right next to the piano or watching the student on the violin and takes notes. Mm -hmm. And through the week, then they do what I've done in the lesson. Does the parent have to be musically inclined, or is that not necessary? It's not necessary. That If they are, it's kind mm -hmm. of obvious. You know, that really helps. But the parent gets the first lesson, too. They, oh, they do. So they... Uh -huh. Well, no, they know what they're doing. Well, here's, here's a young lady over here, and mm -hmm. uh, her name is what? Jennifer Hauk? Jennifer Hauk, uh -huh. right. And this is Jennifer's mother, and Jennifer is in nursery school, right? Right. What made you start her out on music? Did yeah. she show an aptitude for yeah, music? Yes, she did. She seemed to be very interested okay. in playing and uh, liked to play around on the piano, and I, I thought that she was ready, mm -hmm. especially right. since I had heard about Well, we're going to give Gen uh, Jennifer a chance to entertain us. Now, tell us a little bit about Jennifer. What's she going to do? She's What's she an example of? And I, hate, I hate to label somebody that little like that, but uh, she has some talent. What, what, uh, why did you bring her along? Well, she's, um, Jennifer is one that, and this happens to many, that um, she'll play from the Suzuki method. She's listened so well that she'll play mm -hmm. the song on her music box sometimes, or, or anything she'll hear on the radio. What's she going to play you know, now? She's, today she'll play a song called Little Playmates. All right, and I don't see a piece of music up here, really. No. So this be all by ear, then, in memory. It's so. memory, right. All right, Jennifer, scoot up there once, will you? And any time you're ready, you start playing. Marty, I'll let you uh, give her the downbeat if you want her. How do you do oh, it? Oh, she can take it away. All right, Jennifer, if you do it, go ahead. Start off. Play, play the music for us, will you? What? Little Playmates? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, that's a great job, you know, uh, really for some of that little... Oh, yeah. Tremendous job. Here's this is the song in a music okay. job, a music box thing, something... Oh, no, this one isn't. That's oh, just an example. This is, this is in our repertoire. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, was Mrs. Hauk... Are you musically inclined at all? You play anything? Yeah. All right, no wonder. It probably uh, kind of moves off down the family. Good job, Jennifer. Now, do you do just strings? Piano is a form of string, and violin, of course, you have some violinists with us this morning. Is that what you constantly... Is that, is that what the school is about? That's what our string school is about. Stringed instruments. Yes, it's, it's been spread out to academic subjects in Canada, mm -hmm. and um, cello and flute, mm -hmm. different instruments. All right, tell us a little bit about your violinist here. Okay, this, this is Chris Brown, and Chris is six years old, and he's been studying the Suzuki method for two and a half years. All right. And he's going to play a song called Veray. All right, Chris, why don't you just step right in there, and uh, if Jennifer wants to stay in there, she can stay in there. Miss Hawk is going to play the accompaniment, and uh, this is Chris, then, and he's going to show us what to do with the violin. That's a very small violin. Is that specially made for Chris? Well, there are different size violins, so uh -huh. from a 32nd to a 16th, eight, it, they just get bigger. Must be right to match the, uh, right. must be important to match the size of instrument to the physical build of the student, it right? It is, right, okay. and this is just right for Chris. Are you ready, Chris? Make point. Okay. Excellent. Good. Very good. <laughs> yes, sir. Great performer, I'll tell you. He ought to be on the stage, and he probably will be before it's all over. Here's an example of someone who's probably been with you a little bit longer. Than That's you, right? right. Trey has studied for six and a half years, mm -hmm. and he's ten years old. Mm -hmm. Has been violin all the while, has it, with Trey? Yes. Okay. With our school, he also plays piano. Oh. And trombone, yeah. and cello. And show. Not, not, not yet. Not, not yet. <laughs> Give you a little time, huh? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, Troy, you want to step in here and then you give us an example of uh, what you do with uh, your stringed instrument.
Yeah. Well, now, a well, quick word in here. You've got a public recital coming. Yes. Thank right, you. Tell us um, right, where that is and when. March 31st in the recital hall of the Performing Arts Building. And we have two of them. Uh, one at 1 o'clock and one at 3 o'clock due to the many students. That's at Mankato State right. University. Any admission charge? No. Coming up this Saturday. That's then. Right. The Mankato Student Union. What was it? What were the no, time? at the Performing Arts Center. The Performing Arts Center at Mankato State. Then. Well, what were the times again? 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. All right. Everybody is welcome. See, I want to thank, uh, thank the group for being here. I know it's got up a little bit early this morning. They're not playing under the best of conditions because there's a little bit of pressure here, but they did it superb. Yes, they sure did. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for being with us. And we'll have Elaine back with us in a moment. Take a look at a few talk of the town, uh, town items right after we take a brief time out for this.